finally Windows 11 is available for purchase and free upgrade for Windows 10 users. If you have problem in fixing the PCL check requirements, then check this video till the end. Also, I have posted a separate video for the Windows 11 features. You can check the video from the above link. This video is only for those who haven't passed the PCL check due to the TPM 2.0 and secure boot issue. If you are failed due to the processor or other hardware requirements, then you need a hardware upgrade. I have also added the link for the processor list that can run Windows 11. Please check for the video description and also do follow my Instagram page for more updates. Ok, let's first address the TPM 2.0 issue. First download and update the latest BIOS version of your motherboard. Then go to your BIOS settings after restarting your PC. Well, I am using Gigabytes X470 Eros Ultra Gaming for my AMD Ryzen 7 2700 processor. Go to the peripheral menu and enable AMD CPU FTPM. You may also find the TPM settings under the BIOS menu if you have a different motherboard. After enabling, save and exit your BIOS settings. Ok, now I have restarted my windows. Let me quickly open the PCL check. Ok, now I just got to fix this secure boot. As you can see, my TPM 2.0 got fixed after enabling my FTPM settings in the BIOS. Ok, let me quickly restart my windows and enter the BIOS settings for the secure boot option. Now I am back to the BIOS settings. Let me go to the BIOS tab. As you can see the UEFI is enabled under the CMOS support. But CMOS support has to be disabled so let me disable it. So after disabling the CMOS support, you can see the secure boot showed up. If you have a different motherboard then it is better to check your motherboard manual to see how to enable your secure boot and how to disable the CMS mode. Ok let me select the secure boot option. It's already enabled so if it is disabled for you just enable it and change the secure boot mode to standard. Press S to proceed. Ok it asks for the reset without saving. I like to save it so let's select no. Now the secure boot mode got changed from custom to standard which was the requirement in Windows 11. So let me save and exit this BIOS settings and restart my PC. Ok, I am back to the PCL check but still the secure boot was not enabled for me. It might be because my windows boot is in a MBR format. So let me try converting it to the GPT because windows 11 supports only GPT not the MBR. To do that let's open command prompt and type MBR to GPT.exe space slash convert space slash allow full OS. For me it declines but uh, if it is successful for you it should run a conversion. And this command just converts your OS partition not the entire hard disk in your system. So you doesn't lose any of your data. And the rest of the partition will still remains in MDR format and that's fine. If this conversion was successful for you then just Restart your PC and enter the BIOS settings to enable the secure boot which we did previously. And that should fix the secure boot issue. Ok, this recording has been done after converting my OS partition from MBR format to GPT format. As you can see my windows partition is in GPT format and the rest of the hard disk are in MBR format. Ok, if you are still facing the same conversion problem just like me, then I will provide a different solution for you. I just reinstalled my Windows 10, so that fixed my secure boot problem. I will show how I have done this, just follow those steps. For this process, you need a 8GB or a higher pen drive and you need to download the Windows 10 iOS file from the Microsoft website. So let's quickly go to the Microsoft website and download Windows 10. Ok, just start running the downloaded windows setup file and I will be sharing all the website links I show you and so you don't need to worry about it. 
you can find all the link from my video description okay this will take few minutes so i just edit this part in the video select the second option for creating the ios file now select next and again select next select ios file and click next now select the location where you want to create this windows 10 ios file and click save now it starts downloading the windows ios file this will take some time so let me edit this part in the video okay now the ios file is ready for us next go to the rufus website and download the application okay this software is going to help load the windows ios file to the pen drive so let's quickly select the rufus 3.1 file to download now open the downloaded rufus file okay now you need a pen drive with 8 gb or higher capacity pen drive and make sure you don't have any important data in it select the pen drive which you want windows 10 ios to be loaded it should be in boot selection as ios now select your windows ios file in your pc i have it in my download folder if you have saved it in a different location then just explore and select it from your location now you can see the partition scheme is in gpt if it's not in gpt just change it to the gpt because windows 11 just supports the gpt format and the target system should be in uef non-csm rest of the settings are fine and you can leave the default format option so you can see the status is ready now just click on the start button okay just make sure you don't have any important data before it starts formatting your pen drive then click ok okay it will create your pen drive as the ios drive then restart and reinstall your windows 10 in the same partition after deleting your present windows 10 partition then follow the installation process if it doesn't enter your windows installation process make sure your primary boot is set to usb drive and try again don't forget just delete your current windows partition then reinstall in the same partition okay i will skip this part and show you the result after i reinstalled my windows 10 using rufus okay i have reinstalled my windows 10 along with my supporting hardware drivers also installed few windows 10 updates from uh, windows update settings now let's check the pc health check so finally my pc met with the windows 11 requirements let me click on okay now you can see the secure boot and tpm 2.0 issues are addressed and ready for windows 11 for free update hope this help you fix secure boot and tpm 2.0 issues and made you ready for the windows 11 free update so what do you think let me know in the comments and if you like this video please give me a like and share also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and instagram page for more videos and updates Soon, I will see you guys in my next video. Till that, stay safe and healthy.